how's it going? It is all the news all the time and it is lovely to have you back watching another crazy video and this time we're looking at Johnny Depp and uh, we're looking at some PR firm that is saying that his career is on the up so we're going to be looking at that we're looking at uh, one of his co-stars in previous films uh, talking about Johnny, ba Johnny Depp going back into Warner Brothers possibly we are looking at the NFT situation what is happening there's news coming out of that tomorrow which I think is very interesting and there's the Jeff Beck tour which is kicking off so let's have a little look see what's going on uh, we've got is Johnny Depp's career officially saved after the Amber Heard trial I would say yes it is indeed uh, and it's coming from PR expert who's going to weigh in on this this is coming from Cinema Blend um, and he's saying we should expect the floodgates to open now that the trial is behind him we are seeing the first sign of it already with more likely to come what he's talking about this uh, signs of it already I think he's talking about this this is uh, generally what Johnny Depp has been doing these last month and a half we got re-signing with uh, Dior for the Sauvage Sauvage uh, aftershave brilliant stuff we've got Johnny Depp uh, is directing yeah directing a new film with Al Pacino uh, who's going to be co-producing it with INT Productions and it's called Modigliani it's about the artist down here we've got the National Beat Poetry Foundation is going to honor Johnny Depp with a Lifetime Generation Beat Poet Laureate Award brilliant as you know he's in France filming for the uh, Jeanne de Barry he's been <laughs> he's doing so many things it's crazy he's just done a promo for a Chinese video game called uh, Sea of uh, Sea of something Sea of Thieves is it Sea of Thieves? Sea of Dawn. That's what it's called. Sea of Dawn. We've got the album out. Jeff Beck and Johnny Depp 18 album over there. We've got a sold out art show of $3.6 million. And we've got sold out tour all over Europe. And more things are happening every day it seems. So we are seeing the first signs of it. He says this is the first signs of it already with more likely to come. Johnny Depp was always likely to emerge from the Heard Depp legal saga with plenty of opportunities, yeah, as long as he won, left in his career. The lack of conclusive evidence that he committed the abuse alleged by his ex-wife has put him back in the category of Hollywood superstar, excellent, from which he was only temporarily sidelined. So even this is it's damned by faint praise, it's merely the lack of conclusive evidence. He won conclusively. He won on every point. He was gifted eight million dollars. Oh, I mean, it wasn't a lack of oh, my opinion. These people, anyway. Well, there you have it. This is from Ivan Nymer's uh, Nyman's perspective. Uh, this is only the beginning of Johnny Depp's victory tour. Yes, it is. Because aside from seemingly clearing his name in court, yes, he did. The public seems to be largely on his side, and as such, Depp should once again be able to reclaim his A-lister status, at least according to Nyman. Indeed, the money has started rolling back in for Johnny Depp in the wake of his defamation trial victory. He signed a seven-figure deal with Dior. He's the face of Sauvage. He's got music gigs. He's returning to directing. He's in for more paydays. Everything is going well. Johnny Depp invested a lot in terms of his time, energy and financial resources to clearing his name. And it seems to be paying off in the end. Uh, yeah, he did and he needed to and he had to and it was an excellent result. So there you go, after Johnny Depp's victory in court, some fans are wondering if he might return to the role of Grindelwald in the Fantastic Beasts franchise. Well, that could be very interesting. Here's a nice little poster. Uh, the Fate of One, The Future of All, The Crimes of Grindelwald, 1116, excellent. And um, could it be that he's going back to Warner Brothers? Would he go back to Warner Brothers? In my personal opinion, when actors give um, a statement, a almost a prepared statement, they've done so on the orders of someone else. Let's have a look, see what I'm talking about. Um, could Johnny Depp return to Fantastic Beasts after legal victory over AH? Here's what his replacement, Mads Mikkelsen, thinks. So this is the guy who replaced him. He's in contract with Warner Brothers. And Warner Brothers have a a team of people who advise actors what to say, when to say it, how to promote things, and what talking points they should have in any discussions that come up. So I don't think 
Mads Mikkelsen is speaking off the cuff remarks here. I don't think he's just making stuff up. I think he's been told by Warner Brothers to put forward this line. But that's my personal opinion. Mads Mikkelsen played Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts 3 after Johnny Depp's surprise firing. And the question we're asking now is, can he return? Um, so as they're saying in the article, Johnny Depp and AH legal battle has been going on for years. Yes, it has. Neither, it's, neither actor's teams are showing any signs of slowing down. We have an appeal from Amber, a counter appeal from Johnny, and the Pirates of the Caribbean actor came out the victor. Yes, he did. But could Depp return to Fantastic Beasts franchise after his legal victory? Well, here's what Mads Mikkelsen thinks. Uh, he, when he was asked, he said... It was very intimidating, of course. Obviously, well, now the course has changed. He won the suit, the court case. So let's see if he comes back. He might, which is excellent. There you have it. It looks like Mads Mikkelsen seems to be considering the possibility that Johnny Depp will return to play Grindelwald in Fantastic Beasts 4. This would be a wild turn of events. Although there's a major barrier in the way of Depp's return, the fourth movie hasn't actually been confirmed by Warner Brothers yet but they've got nothing else, to be honest, um, and they will flog a dead horse. To <laughs> they just will. Uh, so what else did he say? He said, I'm a big fan of Johnny. Well, this has been, I think, cleared by Warner Brothers as a talking point. Uh, I think he's an amazing actor. I think he did a fantastic job. Having said that, I could not copy it. There's there, there's there was no way I could just copy it. Uh, because it's so much him. It would be creative suicide. So we had to come up with something else, something that was mine, and build a bridge between him and me. So yes, it was intimidating. His fans were very, very sweet, but they're also very stubborn. Yes, they are. I didn't interact too much with them, but I can understand why they had their hearts broken. So I'm thinking that this has been cleared by Warner Brothers as a talking point. That's what I'm thinking is happening. I think there's going to be overtures made by Warner Brothers to Johnny Depp at some stage for Fantastic Beasts 4. This is my personal opinion. And here we have the nice little poster. Um, and so what else is going on in the crazy world of Johnny Depp, in the world of victories that are happening? Well, um, if we look at the Never Fear Truth Discord channel, this is the announcement page. You know, you know that he's uh, got a Discord channel with NFT Art Project, which is going on. And people can buy these um, NFTs. Um, here's some pictures of them. Uh, these are the NFTs that are available to buy, currently around 0.3 Ethereum. There are some other versions. This is the uh, this is quite a complicated one. This is almost like a ticket to something else, and it's about $40. I'll explain that later. And this is the other version. This is the uh, Track 2 version, and they're going for about $700, I think and these you can get physical copies as well. We'll come to that in a second. If we look at the announcements on Discord, this is the uh, NFT Discord for this thing. Um, we see on the announcement page down here, we have received website sign off from the bunny man, which is Johnny Depp, and we are now set for launch. We are considering the final moving parts and aligning all parties so that we can launch the new website this Friday. Today is Thursday, so this is tomorrow. Uh, we are going to launch the physical claims within a few days after we launch the new website to allow troubleshooting. So this is a new website which is related to the NFT art project in which you can get a physical copy. As you can see here, this is the NFT website. The other one was the Discord channel. Johnny Depp creates these NFTs. They're on sale on these markets. If you buy one, you get the possibility of owning a physical unique print, a unique physical print. As a utility or benefit to all NFT owners for the cost of production, $200 and delivery, we will process for you a high resolution print of your NFT from the original artwork, print it on paper using ink and emboss it with your NFT number. And it's also gonna have a holographic QR code on it. 
uh, which I saw as well. Johnny Depp's official art certification. The print will be a unique work of art like your NFT and only available to the NFT owner. You can redeem it once per NFT. The paper size is 600 mil by 600 mil. So 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters, quite big. Um, so this possibility becomes open tomorrow, as far as I understand. It was meant to come May 2022, but no, not yet. So tomorrow. So you can have that on your wall. So that makes me think um, that these NFTs are going to increase in value or price soon, as soon as that website opens. That's my impression. This is the Discord channel. This is where the official links come from. Uh, only use the official links if you want to come to the NFT, NFT Discord. Only use these because there are counterfeits and people who cheat. These are the NFTs. These are version um, track one. These are track two. And this is the data analysis of the NFTs, uh, current data analysis. There are 3,000 in the market. There are 2,000 people who own these. These are the sales. There was a huge spike in sales the day of the verdict. Uh, this is how many there are currently. And this is the current price. It was descending. But now I'm noticing here between July and August, I'm seeing a price increase from $600, $590, $600, $700, So they're increasing in price from August. And this, I think, is because the physical copies are going to be released. So that's why I'm seeing an increase here. So yeah, that's my impression of what's going on at the moment. This is quite a good channel for uh, analysis if you're into this sort of thing. What else is going on? Because uh, NFTs are quite complicated themselves. Well, there's the tour. This is Jeff Beck's tour. All these dates, new dates have been added. So we've got September 2022 and Germania Insurance Amphitheater. 24th, you've got the Dos Equis Pavilion. Um, the rumor on Twitter yeah, uh, is that Johnny Depp is going to join sometime around the 4th of October. Now, how true that is, I don't know. I don't know. I've been looking into it and I don't know. Is he going to be there on the 4th? Is he going to be there on the 8th? Is he still filming in France? I don't know. People are saying the 4th. So I would take that with a big pinch of salt. I wouldn't buy any tickets if you are desperate to see Johnny Depp. I wouldn't buy any tickets yet until there's more confirmation. But the 4th, the 6th, the 8th, maybe from here onwards. I don't know. I do not know. I'm just saying the 4th. Right, so that's all I was looking at um, this last few days. If you uh, want to see any more videos, I'm going to put one up on the right and uh, you can watch some more videos. And if you liked anything or found anything interest, press the like button. That'd be really kind, really helps. And subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. That would be nice too. Uh, press the notification bell if you want to get notified of every video. And uh, I will catch you guys later.